so this is my classroom. Um, the state that it's in right now is how it was left after the last teacher left at the end of the school year. Um, and also when this class is not being used by me, um, students can use it. So a little bit of a mess. Desks are a little bit all over the place, but goal of this afternoon is to kind of just clean it up, put the desks in order how I want to, um, maybe take some of the old stuff off the walls so I can put up my new stuff. But I'm very excited to have my own classroom. Okay, y'all, an hour later and my room is done. So I'll give you a quick tour. Starting over here on the wall with my two doors. Um, those posters up top are staying up there. Um, nothing against them, nothing really for them though. I just can't reach that high, so they'll stay up there. Um, the word wall, I am considering doing this with my students. I don't know quite yet, but I took down the old year's words so we can start fresh. Then cleaned up the board, pretty easy task. TV in my room for slideshows and presentations. I have not been able to find the remote for it, so I'll have to ask around, I guess. Back here, I organized some of the supplies already here in the room. Got some art supplies, some markers, and Play-Doh. I'll maybe bring up some more pens to put in here. Something that was a bit of a surprise were these plants, because um, I don't think they've probably been watered since the last teacher was here, so that was way before Christmas, but despite all that, they're doing okay, especially this little guy. So I guess now I have plants in my classroom. I watered them. Hopefully they'll do okay. There's some little, little green ones in this one, so we'll see about that. I made a lost and found for all of the stuff that I found in my classroom that students have left in here. And then I think the biggest change is the arrangement of the desks. Since this is more of a conversation class, I wanted to make it so that we could all see each other. I'll have about 15 students at most. And so I think I put 16 or 17 chairs and desks around with the rest being in the back. And it just so worked out that these are all kind of nicer, newer desks and those are all kind of older desks. And then to finish off the room, I took down a lot of posters, but kept up some of the important ones. We got a map and then some posters on the back here. These are not mine. These were left by the previous teacher, but I decided to keep them up. Anyway, that's my classroom and I'm excited to start teaching in here on Wednesday. Good morning, it is March 1st, which is a holiday here in Korea. So we have the day off of school. And so I've decided to make today my first day out and about in the city um, by myself. So we'll see how that goes. This is actually my first time out and about by myself ever in Korea. So we'll see how it goes. I'm worried that shops aren't open yet because it's early, but we'll see. The shops were indeed not open yet. So I had about 30 to 40 minutes to scope out all the good stores before doing my shopping. First purchase of the day. We have Sad Kitty from Gotcha Machine for 2001. Okay, so here is my shopping haul from today. I'm actually very proud of myself um, for. The ability of Korean that I was able to use, although it might be small, um, I was still able to kind of talk to cashiers and stuff. But anyway, I got two little craft things, one's embroidery and one's like those little gems that you stick in place. 
two pairs of socks, one normal, one cute. Um, my favorite purchase of the day is this purse. I didn't pack my purse when I moved here, so I needed to buy a new one. Got some strawberry candy, a new hair clip because I lost mine, correction tape, um, hand cream, these like pimple type patches, a new perfume, tampons because they're hard to find, and band-aids. So that's the haul after three hours. Here's a little weekend update for you. Um, didn't really do anything last night, Friday night. Uh, just came home after school. Uh, I had class until eighth period, which got over at 5.10. So I was a bit tired. Um, but today, my original plan was to take the bus and go into the city, walk around a bit. But I was really not feeling that today. Honestly, if I, would have let myself get away with it. I would have probably just stayed home all day and watched K-dramas on Netflix. But I can do that anywhere, including the United States. So I forced myself, even though I didn't want to, I forced myself to get up and get out of the house. And although I didn't make it into Jeonju today, I did uh, walk down from my house to kind of the small town um, where we are near. Um, if you don't know, I'm kind of 30 minutes outside of Jeonju, the main city, and kind of a satellite city, and still a little bit farther away from that. I'm up in the mountains a little bit. So I kind of walked in to the nearby town or the satellite city, um, hit up a store, and just took in, I would say fresh air. It's not fresh air today. The air quality is not good, um, but it was nice to be out and walking around. It was a 30 minute walk down to kind of the town and then 30 minute walk back up a hill. I wasn't enjoying that so much, but it was good to be out and about. And the weather, if not the air quality, the weather is beautiful today. You can see behind me the mountains. Ah. <laughs> I say this probably every morning to my host parents, but I don't think I'll ever get used to the view of the mountains. Um, since Nebraska is so flat, I don't see them that often. So it's nice to be able to see them here. But anyway, I'll show you some things that I got at the store. I got some Chosung cider, which is kind of a Korean version of Sprite. And I may or may not be liking this more than Sprite. Um, it might have overtaken for my favorite pop. And then I bought some Pepero, um, the crunchy or um, the Korean kind of word they use is crunky. <laughs> but this, if you've never had Pepero or Pocky before, it's basically a pretzel stick without the salt dipped in chocolate. And this one is kind of like um, a crunch bar on the outside. So got myself a snack, gonna eat it out here in the nice weather. I uh, won't stay out here too long because of the air quality, but it's nice to be out in the sun.